Hello friends, my name is Bhushan. In the last video, I have created one event which is called Action Perform Event. So in this video, we will write an insertion code inside that Action Perform Event. So let's get started. First of all, let's import some libraries, which is import Java X dot swing dot star and after the connection con is equal to null let's write result set rs is equal to null and prepared statement tst is equal to null so now let's write our uh, insertion code inside the event first of all let's make a try catch block Exception E and inside the catch. Let's write J option ping dot show message dialog. The first parameter is null, the second parameter is E. So now inside the try, let's write a uh, first of all, let's make a string object string SQL is equal to so within the double quotes, let's write our insert query it is insert into whatever the table name you have so in my case my table name is details and inside the brackets let's write your column names so here my column name is student id student name student age so after the bracket let's write values again open your brackets and let's write uh, three question marks one two three so which means that make sure that the number of columns is equal to the number of question mark. So in the next line, let's write PST is equal to con dot prepared statement. Inside the brackets, let's write SQL. So which means that I'm preparing a statement which statement that is uh, this statement that is SQL statement I'm preparing a SQL statement using a method called prepared statement okay so in the next line let's write PST dot set string and let's write one and next let's write txt underscore and id dot get text so basically what I'm doing is using a get text using a get text method I'm accepting the value from the text box so the text box name is text ID that is this text box I'm accepting the value from this text box using a get text method and assigning to the variable that is the first variable in this case the first variable or the first parameter is the SID so using a set string method I'm assigning that text box value to the first parameter that is student ID so in the same way so do for the do all all the text boxes let's say PST dot set string and second txt and name dot get text okay so again PST dot Set string and here the third parameter is age so txt age dot get text so in the next line so finally we assign the text box values to the parameters first second and third using a set string method so now what you have to do is we need to execute execute that query so for that let's write bst dot execute so execute method it simply execute this query okay so after executing the query let's show some message to the user that the values has to be so stored successfully for that let's write j option pane dot 
show message dialog the first parameter is null and the second parameter is the text or string so here we write our message that is stored successfully so finally we return a code for the insertion oper operation this is the code for our insertion operator so let's see uh, let's run this program and see what will happen okay let's save the program and run this connection has been established okay form will open now give a name id 02 and the name is xyz or xya and age is 32 now click the insert so stored successfully so to make sure that the values are stored or not let's go to our database and see whether the data, whether the values are stored or not so let's close this and go to our uh, database and uh, let's see yes the values are stored successfully so in this way we can store the values to the database using a java code uh, I hope you understand this uh, tutorial so in the next videos I will show you uh, some other operations like delete update and uh, search and all so thanks for watching I will see you in the next video